From Yamaha, uh, Rich Munson. Uh, Rich, Rich Munson is our uh, field support manager. Thank you, Rich. And uh, Rich is going to just say a couple words about Yamaha and their encouragement and customization and what they're trying to do and, and their appreciation for all your efforts. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. First of all, I'd like to say thank you from Yamaha for all the builders coming out today. We're very excited to be part of the uh, the Ultimate Builders Custom Bike Show, and uh, it means a lot to us to have everybody from basically all genres of the motorcycle business coming in and, and actually doing one show together and kind of putting all the best of the best together. And uh, this is really a great show. I saw a lot of awesome bikes. I mean, ranging from the sport bikes to the Harleys, it was really nice to see a good collection of bikes at one show, but for Yamaha, we spend a lot of time doing parts and accessories and accessorizing our bikes, so it's a great opportunity for us to come out and see what you guys have to offer everybody else in the, the motorcycle community. So I'd like to thank everybody who came out to participate and um, all the winners today. Everybody did a great job, and to be honest, you're all winners. So I'd just like to say thank you from Yamaha. So. Thank you, Rich. Very pleased to announce the winner because of some very unique innovation and well done manufacturing. It goes to our number 47 bike from FOH Cycle Fab and John Laughlin. Both of you guys come up. Come on. This was a Triumph Triple, and again, it was very understated. They had an aftermarket Honda car rim with a, a VRF hub attached to it, ZX636 uh, front forks and wheels, custom trees and front fender, um, a super trussed out single sided swing arm, it goes on and on. I mean when you really started to look at this bike, the details were evident, the quality, and not only did they put the higher quality performance components on the bike, but they also reinforced the neck and they made sure that it was a very good functioning bike also, so very proud to give that first place. Thank you very much Rich. I would like to have Jonathan come back up again because I do this all the time. I forget there's a little money involved with this. And we have a special check we'd like to take your photos with. $1,000, just a little bit towards that hard work and innovation. Thank you very much. Nice bike. This is Bob Kay from the Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in New York City. I have with me Roman and Johnny from FOH Cycle Fab. And uh, the kind of a unique story here at this year's New York City Ultimate Builder competition. Uh, Roman was responsible for the build of the first place in the performance custom class with a lot of help from Johnny as I understand. But Roman also took a bold step and entered a cafe style bike into the freestyle. Um, that was a very, very interesting, well executed bike. So let's talk about that Triumph Triple. That was very understated, but there was a lot of work done in terms of functionality and fabrication. So what drove you to that type of uh, design exercise where you actually adapted? Let's, talk, let's start with that rear wheel and um, you know the different hub and what you were doing there. Well. To do that mod, it actually comes down to cost. Uh, it's a lot less cost efficient to buy a wheel that's made for that particular bike. It's a lot easier to adapt a Honda wheel, which is third of a price, and use it on a motorcycle. Considering you can use a Honda hub for it, which is the same ball pattern, so it's a lot cheaper to do that, as well as a lot cooler, I think. Well, there's you go, a little creativity and some cost savings at the same time, but you know, what, what I really liked about the bike was that you took the time to reinforce the steering head, you had that, you put that uh, tail section on, you had a functional support with a little style to that. Um, let's talk about the crowd and, and the New York City people and how they appreciated the bike. How, how was your experience with the New York City crowd? Well, perhaps that question would be better suited for John. He was hanging out by the bike all weekend and uh, he had to deal with the mobs and the crowds and people constantly poking at it. 
All right, John, tell us then. What, the, what do you think about the New York City crowd here? Uh, you know, they were they were very interested in it. I mean, you, it's not too often you see a European street fighter in this venue, um, let alone the, you know, the work that's been into it and the very different look. Uh, people are a lot of touchy-feely, so uh, you have to stand by the bike and slap hands off the bike all day. But um, I guess if they're touching it, they like it. So um, I guess it's a good crowd. All right. Well, and uh, thank you for you know our performance custom class. We are really trying to encourage builders like yourself and that type of bike and style. So let's talk a little bit, Roman, about the bike you entered in freestyle. I understand that was a totally handmade triangulated frame, and the the body work uh, was just gorgeous. It was perfect. So, um, do you do these kind of builds for other people also? Um, I have in the past, um, however that particular bike was built for myself and it was, I built it for me how I wanted it. I built it for my weight and my height and that's pretty much I did exactly that. I don't know how else to describe it. It's my baby. Well, you have good taste if that's what you wanted. So um, what do you think guys? Are you going to come do some of our other shows or be back here again next year? I'd say yeah. John? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, there you go. We got some guys in our new performance custom class that are pushing the edge with the cafe style and the Street Fighters. And um, we're looking forward to having them come back again next year. They're, they're obviously in love with the whole deal. <laughs> Thanks.